search for the ideal antihistamine therapy when treating congested allergy sufferers, your choices have been limited. Now when congestion complicates allergy symptoms, prescribe the only non-sedating antihistamine decongestant that lets patients stay alert. Introducing Seldane D, a dual action relief that lets patients stay alert. Seldane D, combining the number one antihistamine with the number one decongestant for fast, stay alert, dual action relief. Seldane D is contraindicated in nursing mothers, patients with severe hypertension or coronary artery disease, patients receiving monoamine oxidase inhibitor therapy, and in patients with known hypersensitivity to any of its ingredients. Sympathomimetic amine should be used with caution in patients with hypertension, diabetes mellitus, ischemic heart disease, increased intraocular pressure, hypothyroidism, or prostatic hypertrophy. To listen to full prescribing information, call 1-800-933-4AMT. Free print and fax copies are also available. You can't bring back the thing she was. But you can help her to move through her days unhaltingly by easing the pain and restrictions of her arthritis with Voltaren, Diclofenac sodium. You can't bring back what was, but you can help her celebrate today and all the days to come with safe, well-tolerated Voltaren, Diclofenac sodium from Siba Geike, number one where people count. Contraindicated in patients hypersensitive to aspirin, other NSAIDs, or Voltaren. As with NSAIDs in general, the most frequent adverse reactions are gastrointestinal. Although rare, SGOT, SGPT elevations, which are reversible upon cessation of therapy, have been reported with Voltaren. The clinical significance of these findings is unknown. See end of program for availability of prescribing information. You're watching Lifetime Medical Television, where doctors turn to learn. Tagamet, brand of cymatidine. I started helping my father in this place when I was a kid. Did my homework over by the bread slicer. Five years ago, the neighborhood starts to scale up. I said, Pop, let's put in a gourmet section. He said, who's going to pay $10 for a pound of coffee? But he lets me try. Now look. He gave me confidence, my father. Two years ago, he starts waking up at night with pains in his stomach. He takes antacids all day. He's making everybody miserable. Finally, I get him to see a doctor. It's an ulcer. The doctor gives him Tagamet. It's like night and day. He's making jokes. All his life, he worked hard, my father. Now, he and my mother are down in Florida. No more ulcers, no more pain. He's learning to snorkel. That Tagamet must be some kind of medicine. Tagamet, Cymatidine. See end of program for availability of prescribing information. MedQuiz, testing the medical knowledge of three senior residents in medicine. Dr. Stephen Brunton is the host of this challenging competition, providing some clinical pearls and some fun. Go on rounds with our faculty of experts, Drs. Thomas Cesario, Eugene Schiff, and Jeremy Swan, and residents from the Massachusetts General Hospital, Barnes Hospital in St. Louis, and Stanford University Hospital. Med Quiz. Today at 4.30 p.m. on Lifetime Medical Television. The left ventricular cavity appears dilated. Markedly dilated. Markedly dilated. You think you've had enough? I you sure? Any more? I wish I was a hero. Okay. Why don't we stop here? When I leave my house, we have a store on the corner. I live a half a block in the corner. There's a bench there. And when I hit that bench, I just fall right into it. Okay. And it's only a half a block from my home. You did beautifully. The consensus study showed that Vasotec, as adjunctive therapy, prolonged life in patients with severe congestive heart failure. I think things are really progressing pretty well. Vasotec yeah, also improves so. function in patients with heart failure. Vasotec, well, highly effective adjunctive therapy for heart failure. Okay, very good. Go. Okay. Vasotec is contraindicated in patients who are hypersensitive to this product and in patients with a history of angioedema related to previous treatment with an ACE inhibitor. Vasotec, from Merck Sharp and Dome. This is just a quiz, but it counts. One, true or 
faults. Feldine is as good as any other non-steroidal when it comes to GI tolerability. Of course, it's true. Feldine's GI tolerability is comparable to that of the other leading NSAIDs, including naproxen, Voltaren, and ibuprofen, and safer than that of aspirin. Two, essay. <clears throat> Describe the significance of Feldine's longer half-life. Feldine's longer half-life from its effective once-a-day therapy, which may promote increased patient compliance. The differences in half-lives have not been shown to be of clinical significance with regard to GI toxicity. Three, multiple choice. How many days of patient experience are there with Feldine? Give you a hint. Um, over six billion patient days of clinical experience worldwide. Pencils down. Feldine, great marks in tolerability and highly effective in the treatment of osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Feldine is well tolerated. As with other NSAIDs, GI side effects may occur in some patients. These include ulceration, bleeding, and perforation. Examine the latest evidence for the prevention of osteoporosis using estrogen replacement and other therapeutic measures this month on Milestones in Medicine. Doctors, for prescribing information of advertised products, consult your PDR, tune into Lifetime Medical Television Sunday 11.30 p.m. to 1 a.m. or call 1-800-762-2395. You're watching Lifetime Medical Television, the network for physicians only. This week on Physicians Journal Update. What is the physician's role in helping terminally ill patients die? Two physicians debate Washington State's Initiative 119, and law professor Alan Meisel tackles the legal issues involved in terminating life support. Later on, state-of-the-art diagnostic imaging choices for your patients. These stories, plus more medical news on PJU for November 3rd, 1991. The presentation and diagnosis of low back pain. Watch Family Practice Update today at 12.30 p.m. on Lifetime Medical Television.